the encounter between Moses and God in a burning bush is the initial and most defining moment in the most important story of the Hebrew Bible. The entire Jewish theology is centered on the chosen nation being led by God and Moses out of the slavery of Egypt to freedom and prosperity of the promised land. Some rabbis and Bible scholars claim even that because this story, this narrative, is of such crucial importance, the entire Jewish and Christian theology is a liberation theology par excellence. Notice, though, that the story of liberation, the very first encounter between God and Moses, begins with a strange request. Remove the sandals from your feet. We usually see this as a gesture and sign of respect, or perhaps sacredness of the space and the event itself. Allow me, though, to suggest a slightly different interpretation of this shoe-removing action. If you take a moment to remove your shoe and look at it, inside of it, at the bottom of it, you will have a chance to learn a thing or two about yourself. For example, if you stepped into a pile of manure on your way here, you can probably still smell it. Looking inside your shoe, you can easily find out whether you have flat feet or not. The condition of your shoes will tell you that you have a comfortable, dare I say, privileged life, or that you are on a tight budget. The wear patterns on the soles of your shoes let you know whether your foot and ankle rolls inward or onward. It's technically called overpronation and underpronation. One can truly discover all sorts of things about oneself by simply taking a moment to look at one's shoes. And this is what I'm thinking God wants Moses to do before anything else. Look at your life, Moses. Acknowledge your past with all its manure-like traumas or privileged and comfortable experiences. Find out your strengths and your limitations. Realize your potential and your shortcomings. Perhaps even correct the way you walk through this life and make an effort to fix what stops you from being truly healthy. Learning all those things, learning who you are, where you have been, what you have done with your life so far, being honest with yourself is the very basic and first condition of experiencing God's presence. For God's love to have a liberating and life-changing effect in our lives, and in the life of our church and our nation, 
we need to know who we are and where we have been. For Moses to become a fearless leader of his people, first he needs to take off his shoes and be honest with himself. He needs to stop running away from the trauma of his birth, from the sins and crimes of his youth. Each one of us, like Moses, should honestly process our past and acknowledge our current conditions, whatever they are. And only then we will truly experience the amazing journey of liberation. The journey that can transform your personal life, the life of your family, the life of your church, and even the life of our nation. Our liberation and transformation begins with taking off our shoes and with an honest, humble self-knowledge.